whether you had to get up a couple times to be with baby, or you have a lot on your mind, or you're just feeling a low energy and you want to reach for food or something to solve it, this is the practice for you. This short energizing practice will for surely boost your mood and boost your body to give you the energy you need. Let's start standing. Inhale. We're going to just slightly bend our knees and lengthen them to get a little more energy coming up from the ground. Nice. And then with that, we'll add some arm movement. We'll move our arms up and back. We continue to bend and straighten our knees without hyperextending, always keeping a slight bent to keep the energy building. And then when you're ready, go ahead and add some breath. We'll go ahead and inhale the arms up. Exhale lower. Inhale up. Exhale lower. Inhale up. Exhale lower. Inhale up. Exhale lower. Cross the arms in front. Move side to side. Bring right above left. Left above right. Open up the heart. Space. It's one of the best ways to create more energy in your body is to open up this chest area. All right, bring your feet a little bit wider. Rotate the body. Feel free to lift the heel up and give yourself a little twist here. Ah, nice. Building up some heat. Warming us up and opening up from our head down to our toes. So we're going to come back into our bodies. If you have a baby that you need to hold, you can do the same motion with a baby. And then we'll bring it into our hips, hands on our hips. We'll rotate our hips around all the way. Keep a slight bend in the knees to protect your lower back. And then reverse, take those hip circles the other way. Pause here a moment to restart or, and connect with your breath. So big inhale all the way through the nose. Exhale through the mouth. <sighs> inhale through the nose. Exhale to the mouth. <sighs> Make some noise on this last one. Inhale through your nose. Exhale to the mouth. <sighs> All right, let's move again. Let's bring the knee up and across the body. If you're feeling a little unbalanced today, just get near a, a chair or a door to hold yourself. Bring the knee across the body, alternating as you keep your chest and waist forward, you're just crossing at the legs at the midline. Hands can come out to your side or even above your head if you feel like you need a little more. And now, if you want, if this seems easy to you, and when the knee comes up, let the arms release. Knee comes up, cross the arms, let them release. Knee comes up. Arms cross. So now we're adding in arms and leg workout, building a little more heat, a little more energy, getting excited. We'll come into your place, let the leg settle, and start to give your butt a kick to get in gear. We're going to kick our butt and then add some arm movement here. So elbows back, bring the shoulder blades okay. together. Every time you kick your butt, Shoulder blades come together, right? Elbows come towards one another in the back of your body. Open the heart, open the chest. Ah! Warm up the legs. Get excited. Ah! Your day is about to ah! get even better. Ah! That's right. She said she's excited for today. All right. Bring your hands towards your knees or your thighs, bend your knees, inhale, look up, get stu stick your booty back, open the heart, bring the shoulders down your spine, 
Exhale, look towards your belly, round your spine. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Try that again. Inhale, look up, open the heart, lift the butt, hammock the belly. Exhale, round. Last time, here we go. Inhale, look up. Exhale, round. This time, round all the way up. Vertebrae by vertebrae coming up. Take some arms, back strokes like you were swimming through the water. Nice and fluid. Open it up. Cracks are good. Moving that, you know, fluid that gets, sometimes gets stuck. Open it up. And then placing your fingers behind your head, elbows apart. Press your head against the back of your fingers where your hairline meets the next where your thumbs are resting. Look up. Big inhale here. Exhale, let the neck and head come down. Elbows come towards one another. Try it again. Inhale, look up. Open the elbows. Exhale, come back down. Two more, just like that. Inhale, create space in the shoulders and the heart. Exhale, come down. One last one. Inhale, look up. Exhale, come down. Let the hands release. Roll the neck from side to side. Nice. And we'll go ahead and do one full sun salutation. If you have a personal favorite you like, do so. If you're with me, we'll take a big inhale, lift, raise the arms up to the sky. Exhale, bend the knees, swan dive down. Inhale, come halfway up, extend the spine, keeping the knees slightly bent, shoulders come down. You've been here similarly with your cat and cow standing. Oh. Take a full breath here. And then exhale, coming back down to all fours. We'll do a cat-cow here. Inhale, look up, spread through all ten fingers. Exhale, round your spine. This time, go ahead and uh, walk your hands forward to puppy dog pose so your knees stay directly above your hips. Your chin or your forehead are on the ground. Hmm. Don't cry. It's um, You're almost over with this energizing practice. And I guarantee you stick with it. You will leave here feeling amazing. Now keeping your forearms on the ground. Shift your hips towards your hands. So you get a nice belly cobra here. And rather than try to, you know, jerk your back up, use the strength of your forearms to pull your body through your hands and then start to lift up gently. Eyes stay down at towards the ground so your neck is more in line and elongating. Take two super deep breaths here through the nose. And then press through the tops of your feet. Lift the knees up to activate the legs. Push down through your hips. Ah. Exhale. Go ahead and use the strength of your core to lift your bottom back up. Come into all fours. Bend the knees. Tuck the toes. Oops. And lift the hips to the sky. Downward facing dog. You can come back to puppy dog pose if you prefer, if your wrists are not um, <clears throat> not feeling great today. Or you want to more focus on opening your shoulders, go ahead and come to puppy dog. Otherwise, lift those hips. Walk your dog so they stay by bending one knee, bending the other, firing up the whole back side of the body, and breathing, of course, deeply, fully, this is what you're creating. Have a great rest of your day. Big inhale here and walk those hands towards the feet. If you're in puppy, walk them so that you slowly come up to a standing position. Just like we started. Nice. Rolling out the hips one more time. 
I know. Inhale, hands up, exhale down. And rocking up on our toes and back on our heels. Rocking up and back. Two, three, we're doing ten. Four, five, breath is increasing the rate, rate of our breath and our movements. So we start to truly energize and take advantage of the last eight or nine minutes. One more. Nice. Hold it here. Feel what you've created. Anytime you need more energy, come back to this practice. Namaste. Eat a snack. 